How could he? Since I installed Vista, I don't know how to use a computer anymore. Ah, uh, whatever. Let's see who got also tagged. Link's left boot? Link's entire clothing? Action Link, the greatest hero in the world? Man, these people really need to eat in one up mushroom. Ah, there. Ganondorf. Nice choice. According to my research, he should be somewhere around here. Magikarp, use your splash attack! Magikarp, respond quickly with a splash attack! Magikarp, do a head-on splash attack! Splash attack, now! Magikarp, dodge away from that splash! Nice work, Magikarp! Now counterattack uh, with your own splash! Greetings, Mr. Redhead! Well, who dares to insult me while I'm watching splash attack? That would be me, Umos, from the show with Umos. Never heard of it. What do you mean I don't seem to be very famous? You might not know this, but I've spent half of my life making this show and I won't allow it to be ruined by a black guy with a Spanish accent. Hey, don't make fun of my accent. Why are you even here? You've been tagged, that's why. Tagged? Unbelievable! Give me the name of that fool who did it and I'll give him the worst possible torture mankind can think of. Being locked up in a room with kittens. Yeah, yeah, could you give us your facts, please? I have a well-known show to make. Fine. Fact number one. I sell teddy bears on the black market to earn some extra money. Teddy bears, eh? That's some serious business there. It's a lot more complicated than it sounds. Their black market prices are so high you can earn a fortune just by selling 10 of these. Though I've heard it's become pretty dangerous because of organizations who try to put an end to this. Like PETA for example. I tell you, if you don't get out of there, homeless will find your dead body between trash cans and chicken wings for sure. Relax, it's not like someone who has nothing to do with this is going to stab me in the forehead. Fact number two. I was part of a love triangle once. Oh, I was part of one too when I was younger. Really? Yeah, there was a girl meant another guy had a crush on, and boy did we have a tough battle full of misunderstandings and fan service. And how did it end? Well, isn't it obvious? <coughs> no, Samus. I don't need your pity. Y you're laughing at me. That doesn't make any difference, but it wouldn't have been so bad if they had broken up after a few months, but this was 60 years ago and they're still having sex every night on the apartment above. That's why my eyes are always red. I haven't slept since then. What about you, Ganondorf? You can't really call my case a love triangle since there was only me and the tribe of half-naked women. Though the selection was big, in the end I chose Twin Rova. Yes, those old hacks look like Paris Hilton on crystal meth, but you shouldn't judge them by their appearance. They may seem old, but they are plasma grenades in bed. Fact number three. Actually, I don't have a Spanish accent. If you don't have one, then why do you talk like that in the first place? It's to honor a dead friend of mine who was Spanish. Oh, I'm sorry. How did he die? He was smashed by the weight of a giant tadpole. A truly fitting end for a squirrel. Fact number four. Before starting my career as a main villain, I tried to get a job as a robot master in one of the Mega Man games. I always wanted to be Desert Man. Ganondorf, you're not even a robot. And neither are the others. Bubble Man, for example, is a lawyer who is employed at a famous law company. Or Nightman, he works in a striptease bar. I never knew. I almost succeeded in taking part in Mega Man 4, but soon after I was replaced by Pharaoh Man. Of course I tried to get revenge, but I failed. Don't tell me a man who has large experience in black magic can take on a little video game company. If there's one thing I learned, it's this. Not a single person can oppose Capcom. Not even Chuck Norris. <gasps> Not even Chuck Norris? Yes. Fact number five. 
You know that in some of the games I appeared as a giant peak? To be completely honest, it was just a costume. It looks too real to be a costume, though. That's because we took it from a real creature. You mean it really existed? Yes, we were kind of lucky since it was the last of its kind. So you say he's a brutal person who kills dozens of space pirates every day even though they just want to have friends. You can't say anything against that, can you? I gave you my five facts, so could you please let me attend to my former business? You do know Splash Attack continues endlessly, right? It must have an end! Everyone who stops watching after two minutes is not worth to be called a Pokemon fanboy! Well, then have fun wasting your time. <laughs>